The Green Slop Nature Preserve is roughly 16,000 acres and located in Brunswick County, North Carolina. It is owned and managed by the Nature Conservancy and famous for its biodiverse plant communities. People travel far and wide to see and study the variety of plant species that occur here. You can find Venus flytraps, black bears, orchids, and it's known as a biodiversity hotspot. The preserve is made up of two main plant community types, longleaf pine uplands and pocosins, which is a type of wetland. Both of these plant communities are fire adapted. The Green Swamp has a long history of fire extending back thousands of years caused by both lightning strikes and intentionally set fires. Today, fire is still part of the Green Swamp, but mainly through controlled burning conducted by the Nature Conservancy and our state partners. This makes the swamp one of the best examples of what a longleaf pine ecosystem looks like, rich with many plants and animals. The longleaf pine uplands in the Green Swamp is mostly on the edges of the preserve, but the vast majority of the preserve is Pocosin, which is a type of wetland that has very thick, shrubby vegetation. We burn the longleaf pine savannas every two to three years to mimic the way fire naturally occurred on this landscape. The last time the entire Pocosin and the Green Swamp burned was in a 1955 wildfire that burned over 100,000 acres in Columbus and Brunswick counties. Although, smaller wildfires and some controlled burning in the Pocosin have occurred periodically since then. Fire in the Pocosin, like Longleaf, is necessary for the plants and animals to thrive, but the time between fire was historically longer than in our Longleaf uplands. In June 2023, a controlled burn escaped into the Green Swamp Preserve and became the Pulp Road Wildfire. And in an effort to contain that fire, nearly the entire preserve was burned, including some areas that hadn't seen fire since 1955. There were smoke impacts for surrounding communities, which were an inconvenience for many, and for some, a health hazard. While this is an unfortunate aspect of wildfire, there are, and will continue to be, significant ecological benefits to the Green Swamp from this fire. All of the plants and animals that live here are amazingly adapted to fire, but that means very different things for different species. Take the two dominant pine trees in the Green Swamp, for example. The longleaf pine is adapted to low-intensity fires that occur every two to five years, and it has all sorts of cool adaptations that protect it from those low-intensity fires, like how it can wait for several years as just a seedling, storing up nutrients in its taproot, and then it puts on a ton of growth suddenly to get taller than those flames so that its growth bud is protected. Now contrast that with the pond pine, which is adapted to high intensity fires that occur much less frequently. It has a serotonous cone, which means that those cones open up under extreme heat. So they wait for a high intensity fire, and then those cones open and spread their seeds. Pond pine can also re-sprout straight from the trunk after a fire, even if all the needles are burned off. So there are really two different types of natural fires here. The kind that happen frequently and are low intensity, and the kind that happen rarely but are high intensity. Among the hundreds of species that grow in the green swamp, one of the most recognizable is the Venus flytrap. Venus flytraps are only found in a 90 mile radius around Wilmington, North Carolina, and over 30% of their population is found here in the green swamp preserve. Flytraps need fire to thrive. They are uniquely adapted to take advantage of conditions after fires to grow back bigger, flower and produce seeds the next year. We strive to conduct as many controlled burns here as we can for multiple reasons. For unique plants that depend on fire, for wildlife habitat, and to help mitigate wildfires by consuming some of the built up vegetation. We burned quite a few of these savannas earlier this year, and because of that, there are lots of areas that didn't burn in the Pulp Road wildfire. When the wildfire hit an area that we recently burned, it either went out or burned at a much lower intensity because there wasn't as much fuel. And it's places like these that are critical safety zones for all kinds of critters during a fire. And since the wildfire, we've seen deer, turkey, bear, woodpeckers, turtles, fox squirrels, and all sorts of wildlife doing just fine out here. They are all used to fire being a part of the forest that they live in. We try to mimic the natural fire history for longleaf pine savannas as much as we can. And the science shows that these areas would have naturally burned every two to five years. The Pocosin in the Green Swamp, which makes up the majority of the preserve, is extremely challenging to burn for several reasons. Dense vegetation and wet, mucky soils make access difficult. Also, fires burn more intensely in Pocosins compared to the more frequently burned areas like the longleaf pine savannas. The smoke is always going to be a challenge. 
But controlled burns are carefully planned and carried out on days where the predicted winds are going to carry that smoke away from communities and roads. There were serious smoke concerns from the Pulp Road wildfire, and people's lives were impacted, but thankfully there was no injuries. The soil in the Pocosin contains a lot of organic matter, and when it's dry, it can burn and smolder for a long time. And this fire had the potential to be a problem all summer long, but with the excellent work from the North Carolina Forest Service and several inches of rain we got the following week, there wasn't much smoldering and the fire went out relatively quickly. In the end, this fire will be ecologically beneficial for the green swamp. And for several years to come, the risk of wildfire will be much lower. Please come see this beautiful place for yourself. See how the preserve is flourishing, check out all the fly traps, pitcher plants, orchids, and the natural beauty of this region. Come to our free Fire in the Pines Festival in October in Wilmington, North Carolina to learn more about fire in our local ecosystems. In the meantime, we're gonna to continue to protect and preserve this amazing place and do everything we can to ensure safe fire management of the green swamp for years to come.